when a lightning storm takes place, you'll smell this smell, right? You smell this fresh smell. Well, that's ozone. And ozone, when used properly, is actually a very effective medical treatment. I know that ozone is antibacterial and anti-neoplastic. I mean, it works with cancer patients. What other types of things would ozone be potentially beneficial for? Who's not going to benefit from, for the most part, you know, just increasing oxygen utilization in their body? Whether it's an athlete who's healthy or it's somebody who's struggling with cancer or gangrene, increasing oxygen, like you said, cutting infection and inflammation in those areas. For veterinarians, there's actually over 14 ways to administer ozone to a patient. If there's a degloving wound on a kitty's tail, yep. you could limbag the tail, you could limbag a paw, you could, you know, any body part, any extremity, you could put a bag around, put the ozone in and treat topically a wound, hot spot, gangrene, infection. But what are some of the other 13 ways that, better yeah. that you would be able to administer ozone? Some other ways are ear insufflation. So that's another to kind of topical way to infuse ozone gas into the ear canal. Probably the easiest way is ozone oils or ozone creams. You can ozonate fluids. So usually it's saline or distilled water. And then you can use those uh, to lavage wounds, to disinfect, but also to help the healing process. What about viruses, in particular one virus that is, you know, kind of taking over our lives right now. I love ozone for for its antiviral capacity yeah. in a medical setting. How are you using ozone to protect your family against corona? 